Well, boys and girls, good morning. Morning. Oh, that's so alive. Good morning, boys and girls. Morning. And good morning to visitors. G'day, what mob? How are you going? Good to see you all the way from the big smoke in Tamworth. I want to share with you, boys and girls, one of my most precious possessions. It's my Leatherman. Uh, this Leatherman is very precious to me because it was a gift to me on my first Father's Day. Uh, where my wife, Anita, and my first child, Seth, gave it to me in a tent on a youth group camp down at Port Hacking in the Royal National Park. Uh, This Leatherman is really good and really useful. Uh, I use this Leatherman when I go wood chopping. Uh, I've used this Leatherman when I go fencing. I've used this Leatherman uh, welding. I've even used this Leatherman when I've been cooking. Uh, This Leatherman is really good and really useful. Uh, It's got pliers here. Can you see the pliers? They're great for just catching your sons behind the back of the forearm and uh, waking them up. Uh, It's got these wire cutters in here that have cut many a fencing wire, but not number eight. That just makes it blunt. Uh, It's a bit damaged there now. Uh, It's got this really funky screwdriver here. Uh, that goes from a Phillips head, and I only learnt this when I got a, a Phillips head and a flathead, and it goes to a flathead. It's a terrific Leatherman. It's been everywhere with me, and it's helped me in some really tough situations. It's really good and really useful. But you know what? It's really old, just like its owner. Uh, it's really blunt, and it's quite broken. In fact, at breakfast this morning, I was in a panic because I'd broken it and I had to ask Seth to fix it for me. Uh, So it's actually not going to help me with all of my problems. Uh, And it's not always going to be really good and really useful. You see, this Leatherman's not going to help me when I'm lonely. Uh, The Leatherman's not going to help me when people laugh at me for following Jesus. That Leatherman's not going to answer my questions about who God is or why the world is really mucked up. Uh, That Leatherman's not actually going to help me as I get really, really old and try to work out how life works. So if that Leatherman, which is really good and really useful, isn't going to help me, what is? God is. And you know what? God's given me something that's not just really good and really useful, but it's most good and it's most useful. Uh, It's the Bible. And I want to read to you two verses that Ian's going to talk to us about later on. And it talks about the Bible being the best Leatherman in the world. I want you to listen. Okay, I want you to listen really hard. Sammy, what do we use for listening? We use our... We learned that yesterday, didn't we, mate? That's right. So listen very carefully. 2 Timothy chapter 3, 16 to 17. All the Bible is spoken by God and is really good and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in God's way so that the person of God may be complete, able to do every good work. This is most good and useful because it comes from who? It comes from who? God. This is most good and useful because it's going to help me in every tough situation. And this is most good and useful because you know what? It never gets blunt. It never gets worn out and it never gets old. I love this. It's really good and useful for every part of life. But I love this more because it's most good and useful for every part of life. I'm going to pray about that now, and then we're going to give you your kid sheets, and that's going to talk about the thing that's better than a Leatherman, and we're going to hear God's word as Ian comes and reads it to us. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for your word that it's most good and useful for all of life. Thank you that it's from you. Thank you that it never goes blunt and it's never worn out. Thank you that it answers all of our questions. Help us to love it, read it, and know you through it. Amen. 